Kevin Costner has recently fully dedicated himself to the Horizon American Saga project, a Western film series divided into four parts. This series delves into the expansion of the American West during the period surrounding the Civil War. The narrative explores the tensions between the Native American populations whose lands were increasingly encroached upon and the settlers who were determined to establish themselves there. Through this, a significant chapter of American history is portrayed. However, securing investors for the project proved challenging for Costner. He admitted that there was a lack of confidence from others in his ambitious vision, leading him to personally finance the production to ensure it was brought to life. The award winning actor provided the backstory of how he conceived the film project during an interview in May 2023. I commissioned this story in 1988 single movie two-hander, a conventional western with a beginning, middle and end. I couldn't get anybody to make it, he divulged. After the success of Open Range, there was an opportunity with Disney. However, a $5 million difference in budget negotiations prevented the project from moving forward, despite the studio's financial gains from the previous film. Undeterred, eight years later, Costner revisited the idea, began writing with a partner, and eventually developed it into four screenplays. By reverse engineering the concept back to 1988, he believed the story was strong. Recognizing that bringing the project to life would be a significant challenge, the actor understood that a drastic decision was necessary. As a result, he made a considerable sacrifice, much to the frustration of his accountant. I've mortgaged 10 acres on the water in Santa Barbara where I was going to build my last house. But I did it without a thought. It has thrown my accountant into a conniption fit. But it's my life. Costner revealed that the Yellowstone alum further expressed his unwavering belief in the project, emphasizing that his determination to see it come to fruition never faltered. When asked if he believed in the project so much to gamble with his property, he had the perfect response. At the end of the day, I'm a storyteller and I went ahead and put my own money into it. I don't know why, but I have not let go of this one, Costner said. He also mentioned that on three occasions in his career, he had pushed it into the middle of the table. This marks the fourth time he has done SO. The movie star shared that he is on track to spend $98 million on the first three films of his Western series, with the fourth installment pushing the total investment beyond $100 million. During a press conference at the Cannes Film Festival in May 2024, just one day after Horizon. Premiered, the Oscar-winning actor elaborated on his decision to bet on his vision by using personal assets. I've acquired some things. I don't need four homes. I'll risk those homes to make my movies. I want to leave them to my children, but my children will have to live their own lives, said the father of seven of his sacrifice to make the film. Costner conveyed his confusion regarding those who failed to grasp his vision for the film he aimed to create. He remains confident that other films are not superior to his own. I made it for people, said the Hollywood veteran. For this project, the lead character is named Hayes, a name that Costner later gave to his son, who also stars in the film. He explained that the name became a significant part of his journey in bringing the movie to life. Despite the challenges he faced in securing financing for the project since 1988, his attachment to the name never faded. Years later, it became his son's name as well. By investing his own money and deferring all his fees for Horizon Costner has shown just how dedicated he is. The project has become more than just work for him. It's turned into his obsession. Costner recognized that some might perceive his actions as a gamble, but he clarified that he doesn't view it that way. I'm not a gambler. I gamble on the love of story. I'm gambling on people. In a sense, he said. He admitted that he can't force audiences to visit the theater, but once they're there, his goal is to provide them with the best experience possible. That's what he realized O.N. Costner often faces difficulty gaining support for the films he envisions, despite his confidence in the quality of his work. He consistently finds that the movies he wants to create, such as Dances with Wolves, E. Bull Durham Field of Dreams and Open Range are more challenging to bring to realization. Costner is known for his unwavering commitment to projects he believes in. Even if they take years to develop, he expressed his desire to return to Cannes in the future with the third installment of the Horizon series. He has already completed three days of shooting for part three 
and is actively seeking additional funding. In Canis, he made a point of asking potential investors to contribute financially, emphasizing the need for support to continue the project. The three hour film garnered an 11 minute, 40 second standing ovation during its world premiere at Cannes. Costner hinted that Chapter 4 of Horizon will prominently feature Native Americans in the storyline. Horizon, an American saga, Chapter 1, was released in theaters in June 2024 through Warner Bros. However, after the first installment underperformed at the box office, the premiere of the second chapter was pushed from August to September 2024. Costner also disclosed that production of Chapter 3 began in May 2024. Alongside risking his wealth and family home, for his cherished movie project. Osner has also faced the challenges of a failed marriage. His now ex-wife, Christine Baumgartner, filed for divorce in May 2023, following 18 years of marriage. She cited irreconcilable differences and listed their date of separation as April 11, 2023. An insider revealed that Costner wasn't entirely blindsided by Baumgartner's divorce filing. Although he found the filing to be an unpleasant surprise, he wasn't completely shocked by it, said the source. According to the source, Costner didn't want a divorce even though he knew she was unhappy. As for Baumgartner, she had hoped for more family time at their Santa Barbara home, but during filming, Costner's frequent absences made that difficult. The insider noted that her husband's absence had been challenging for her. Moreover, she wasn't pleased about his ongoing obsession with the horizon project which had consumed him since the previous year. The separation resulted in a legal battle between the estranged spouses, who married in September 2004 and welcomed three children, sons Caden and Hayes and daughter Grace. The verdict ruled in Costner's favor. The judge explained the reasoning behind his decision after both exes took the stand as they discussed co-parenting their children and the next steps in their separation. The court also revealed its decision on child support, Costner was ordered to pay Baumgartner $63,209 per month, significantly less than the $161,592 she had requested. Judge Thomas P. Andel noted that both sides made strong closing arguments. Regarding the ruling, Andel stated that the reasonable needs of the children are fully met by this child support order. He remarked that any amount greater than $63,209 per month would essentially be disguised spousal support. Costner faced significant challenges before production started on Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1 in 2022. In 2021, he experienced the loss of both parents and soon after encountered difficulties with the shooting schedule for Yellowstone. These issues escalated into a contract dispute and a publicized conflict with the show's co-creator Taylor Sheridan and the production companies. Despite these setbacks, Costner managed to complete not one but two Horizon films during this tumultuous period. Dot, dot, reflecting on the challenges he's faced, Costner described a moment of introspection, imagining himself in a dark theater, urging himself to rise and push through the difficulties. Dot, H E motivated himself to find joy in watching his kids play. Why? Working hard to complete his project. Dot, even though he took a mortgage on his oceanfront plot to finance his movie. It's not the only property he owns. Costner owns another in Aspen. His decision to mortgage his beachfront property was one he said his then wife once joked about as she remarked, one more and we're out of business. When asked about this comment, Costner clarified that his ex-wife hadn't actually said it. Instead, it was his way of being self-deprecating. Using the line as a light-hearted way to acknowledge that his actions might seem a bit crazy. Dot, when questioned about whether his divorce and his former spouse's dissatisfaction with the movie project were connected, Costner responded, no. They're not related. Dot, after investing heavily in the project and taking significant financial risks to secure funding, Costner faced disappointing results. The first film grossed just over $11 million at the domestic box office the weekend it debuted. Dot, the movie earned slightly over $34 million worldwide during its theatrical run, which concluded in August 2024. Internationally, Chapter 1 earned over $5.2 million, with domestic earnings reaching a total of $29 million. Kevin Costner reportedly confirmed that he invested $38 million of his own money to produce the first installment of the planned four-part film series. Hopefully, the upcoming installments will bring more profit and pay off his hard work.